Hi everyone, welcome back to Teacup Mischief. I'm Natasha, and today I want to tell you a little bit about uh, McGibbon Made Teas. She uh, does monthly boxes, which I've talked about before and shown them off in my previous videos, but she also makes these really great hot teas that you can also make cold if you prefer. Um, they're amazing, I love them, and I just want to do a small little video of my small haul about them. Um, she had a sale going on back at the beginning of January, so they were only, the tens were only $5 each, and so I had to jump on it because the, some few that I had tried before in like a sample pack were really good, and then I had to get some new ones as well. Um, so I'm going to jump in. She sent me a little, like a one, one tea sample, and it's, I think it's pronounced hard. Harvellas or Harvells, maybe something like that. I'm horrible at pronouncing things. I'm sure you already know, but it is black tea, roasted cocoa beans, ginger, cinnamon, roasted green tea, roasted yerba mate. I think that's what it says. It's kind of hard to read. See the lettering. It's a little small for me. I have some eye problems, you know. Uh, crystallized ginger, ginger flavors. Um, dark chocolate chips, chocolate cocoa powder, sea salt, and citric acid. Uh, so I've never tried it, so I'm very um, interested in trying it out. I'm not the biggest chocolate hot tea fan, but um, the other set notes really intrigue me. So I'm going to try it out. Um, then I wanted to talk about the three that I've already tried before that I really liked. Um, one is called uh, Death. She has different themes. Let me pause for a minute. She has different themes. And so the teas are based on the themes that she's chosen for that time frame. And um, they're all amazing, though. And um, they're all either kind of geeky, nerdy, to um, minimal, more on, like, the literary side or, um, like, the four horsemen or things of that nature. Okay, so this one, Death is... Black tea, uh, cocoa beans, barley, green tea, chocolate flakes, apple, vanilla, salt, sea salt, I mean, uh, citric acid, and cocoa powder. This one's really good. And it changes the color of your water, too, a little bit. And I really like it. Not much, just a little bit. It gives it a little spunk. Uh, next one is Unseely. Oh, it's hard to see with my lighting. I'm sorry. And this one's black teas, vanilla bean, green tea, coconut, almonds, honey, sea salt, and citric acid. I really love this one because it's got the honey flavoring in it already. And I already put honey in my teas usually, so this is really good. Um, next one is just Sealy. This one's a long one. Let's see here. White tea, green tea, lemon myrtle, orange peel, jasmine, jasmine green tea, let's see, pineapple, papaya, pomegranate, ginger, crystallized ginger, marigold, star anise, someone correct me, you know, lemon juice, honey, sea salt, citric, and malic acid. Um, this one I tried once, but I don't remember the flavoring the most. Um, like in the unseely, I really remember um, the honey and the almond kind of flavor and some of the vanilla. Celia, I really don't remember as much. I remember the hint of pepper, uh, um, pineapple, but it wasn't like the most prominent. I do remember that little bit. Um, then the new one I got was the pie hole <laughs> is what it's called. I really like her uh, tins because you can kind of see in them. So like if I wanted to take the sticker off, It'd be really cool to see the inside and, like, display it, you know? All right, this one is cinnamon, apple fruit pieces, ruby ruse, um, calendula, calendula, calendula petals, um, natural and artificial flavoring. So this one, I'm guessing, if I remember correctly, may have been based off of Supernatural because the pie hole... I'm just guessing. I could be completely wrong. 
Um, but I'm really interested in it because it has apple fruit pieces. And I love apple teas. Teas that have like apple pieces in it and whatnot. Um, so I'm very anticipating this one. And like I said, uh, I got the order about the middle of January. And now it's end of January. So I've waited a while. So I'm very, um, probably have this one today. Give it a try and probably post it on my Instagram about what I think of it. So there's that. Um, so that was the tease. Like I said, it's just a quick little video to tell you about them a little bit and for you to go check her out. I'll leave her links down below as, as well as where you can find me at. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to get notifications of when I post a video, hit the bell button. And I appreciate you all joining me, all the support, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.